What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Midnight coming back with you with a little small video for y'all. Um, you see the description. Today is the day I'm gonna go buy me a trailer. Um, it's winter time. It's the best time to go get you a trailer. I need me a trailer. Um, I've been renting U-Haul trailers. Um, take the Black Panther back and forth to the shop, getting work done, all that good stuff. Um, but I finally decided to pull the trigger on a trailer. Um, it's getting summertime. We're going to be at the track. I'm excited about that. Uh, shit, I'm, I'm excited about that, actually. I'm really excited about that. Uh, got some got some mods coming in for the Panther. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to take y'all with me, go get this damn trailer. And after we get the trailer, then I'm going to tell y'all why I chose the trailer that I, I chose and uh, all the pros and cons that I heard of, of the reason why I chose that trailer. So let's go. We have arrived, we have arrived. What's going on? Hey buddy, how's it going? Hi. Hey. John, yep. Nice to meet you. All right, uh, down here on the end, you'll go check it out. Yeah. And you said you did have an 18 here, right? Uh, I don't, well, I got one of these in front of Now what's the difference? So, this one's going to be a full channel, frame and everything. Full and channel, right? Full channel. Oh, is it four or four? four well, it's both. Okay. It's, it's full channel. I'll show you when we get down here. Okay. The Kano has a channel wrap Kano, but the deck's actually made out of angle iron. Okay. Which is better? Full channel. Full okay. Channel. So, that's the one I'm getting? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, this is, I'm new to all this, and it was, uh, it's an adventure to learn all the different yeah. shit. Uh, yeah. This one, this one right here? Yeah. So that's why I was saying, this is full channel. Right. Wrap tone, so this part goes to the front of it. Right. The deck's actually made right here out of channel two. Right. The other one I was telling you about, the Connor's made out of angles, which it's still a stout trailer, but this is a better trailer. Okay, good. Uh, you got your side out wrap right here on the side story. Yep. You got brakes on the rear axle, easy loop hub. Now let me ask you this, can you add brakes to the front axle? Uh, I'm pretty sure you Are can. they addable? I'm pretty sure you can because they still got like bolts where you bolt it on. Uh -huh. uh, I think you can just buy the whole hub assembly. Yep. Pop that off, unbolt that hub, everything comes off. Okay. You can bolt it on there and then just wire it in. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it's cool. you know, pretty universal. Is these the ramp right here? Oh, you got to pull them off from the side? Yeah. Oh. These are uh, five ramps. So with the dovetail, it puts it out really far. Gotcha. Yeah. So to see the dovetail mo? Yeah. The dovetail is for to help out with that angle. Yeah. You know how we used to go up with that angle on that trailer? That's to help out with that. Yeah. So hopefully the back tires will be already on the ramp before it dipped down. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. What year is it? A 17. Okay. It's a C7. Okay, nice. And it's on stock height. I don't plan on lowering it. Yeah. But they were saying that y'all load those on here all the time. Yeah, we, well, I mean, we've personally loaded some loaded Corvettes and stuff on here. As far as uh, strapping down, I heard that strapping down from the sides are not really that good. Uh, what you well, say about that? I personally, man, I run the tire loops. You just go around the top of the tire. Either grab here or here. Yeah. You know, pulling forward and putting the rear ones pulling back, cinching down. Um, what kind of depend on how your wheels? You got the axle loops. You got a big wheel, you can throw it through, uh -huh. snap it, and then you're basically pulling on the wheels. Okay. Um, just a lot of different options. Um, we do sell D rings that you can bolt in this. So if you want to do like axle loops or something, you can put you some D-rings in the floor. Okay. Um, does it go straight through the wood or does it connect to something metal yeah. under the under the it basically drill a hole? Yeah. You can put the eye through it. Yeah. You got a plate on the bottom, you bolt it to gotcha. it. Gotcha. Um, it's like a four by six steel plate you put on the bottom side of the Okay. Wood. Now what about um can you load the car on just the landing leg? Oh, oh, it has like to now, be connected. It yeah, it has to be connected because it's gonna rear up. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to have it hooked to the truck. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> you got about <clears throat> six inches, come on back. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that thing will beast. And the yeah. screen in there? Let's yeah. show you all the lines and shit. Uh, the, uh, okay. Look, it's got these little grooves for it to sit in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna make sure, but it, if it's it won't, the pin won't go in if it's not in those grooves. Right. Yeah. There you go. Is it best to put a piece of wood under that when you put it down or? Well, that one's got a big plate. Uh, you can, I've got some if you want some. Uh, this one does have a big plate. I normally put wood on there. If you yeah, park them in the same spot, so I don't have to run this jack all the way down. Oh, okay. I've got wood. You want to crawl through the game? Uh, I might want to twist it. Make it a little long so they don't drag. Test your lights real quick. Turn signals. You got left. You got right. Brake lights. You got brake lights. Good deal. Have a good one, man. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, y'all see what trail I got. Um, reason why I got a wooden trailer. A lot of people was asking me and telling me you should get a steel trailer. Those are more common for cars or whatnot. Um, I hear a lot of negative things about them about them steel trailers from, you know, just more 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 uh most steel to, to rust over time. Um, 
I heard them shits are really, really slippery and slick in the rain. And they say, God forbid, if you drop some 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 type of grease or earl or whatever, some fluid or something on that thing, shit, it's like slip and slide time from there. And uh, they say, really, no matter how much you crank it down, that, that it, the car still may shift. I mean, I don't really know how true that is. I didn't go solely based off that, but that was a huge part of the reason why I decided to get a wooden trailer. Um, I do understand that they are a lot lighter. Uh, actually, a little lighter. Um, the price difference was uh, a couple hundred dollars, so I actually came on top getting a, a wooden trailer. Um, I do plan on staying in that wood. That's one, first and foremost. Uh, secondly, um, I really bought a wooden trailer because one to prevent from the slip slipperage, if that's a word. <laughs> uh, but I really plan on hauling different shit with this trailer. I'm talking about from whatever to whatever. I don't want. I didn't want to limit myself to strictly a car hauling trailer. I wanted. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna probably try to build some little small walls, some little rails where I could actually. Um, use it as a utility trailer and haul some other shit also. So that's the biggest reason why I got a wooden trailer. Like I said, I'm going to stay in the wood and this, that, and the other. I'm super excited to put the vet on there. Actually, um, this Saturday will be the first time I put the um, the vet on there, put the panther on there, the panther going back to the lab. It's a 20-foot trailer. Um, I didn't get 18. The 18 one was the, the one in the video that you just saw, the little cheapy looking one that shit he shook the metal and that shit was just weak as hell and y'all know i can't have a panther you know the panther i love my baby so i can't have a panther on side the road all flipped over in the ditch somewhere so i went on ahead bought quality if you're gonna buy one buy some quality or whatever um it's like four channel dovetail 20 footer um, that trailer weighed uh, about 2,000 pounds, a little bit less, less give or take. Um, it's rated at that 5,000 mark bullshit, 7K, if that's what you want to call it. So basically, I think it's called the payload that you could actually put 5,000 pounds on the trailer. Um, the vet ain't but 3,400, so I got plenty of time, plenty of space. I got a couple other cars that I plan on putting on that trailer too. So... It's that I got some the basic rims and tires with it. Um, it's a five foot ramps on it, which will help out with that low ass vet. They say they, they put vets on those all the time or whatnot. But anyway, to wrap this video, I appreciate y'all for watching. I just want to put a little small little video out for y'all. Like I said, this trailer here, I plan on bringing to the to the track. Um, it's really not good to drive the car that you're gonna be racing that day anything can happen i could pop a belt or any fucking thing and now i'm stranded so i'm gonna do it the right way um also i'm gonna be using this trailer for like car shows and shit where i could you know once i get the get nightmare you know the silverado get that thing up in like i want it shit pull up at the car shows the big car shows with the vet on the back stun on these fools and um but anyway I want to put a little small video out there for y'all. If y'all uh, looking for a trailer, I'm gonna put the uh, the the company that I bought it from uh, in the description. It was not in Atlanta. I had to drive all the way to damn uh, Alabama. Only two and a half drive, but it was all good. Um, cool guys over there. I mean, hassle free. Dropped the price for me. Whole nine yards. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put the information in the in the, in the description. Y'all like my videos? Like this video? comment you got any questions comments concerns anything about the video uh and definitely hit that subscribe button man i really trying to get my little subscribers up and uh hit that thumbs up button and i really appreciate y'all for riding with me and doing this thing with me and i'm out y'all have a good one peace